Bonjour, bienvenue sur le plateau de l'Assis TV. Nous sommes ici en direct de la Cité internationale à Rabat, l'occasion de la 8e édition du sommet Africa Students on Youth Summit. Donc ici Rabat, ici plus de 52 nationalités représentées, des associations venues de toute l'Afrique pour échanger, débattre sur le futur, l'avenir de l'Afrique, défis et perspectives. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm really happy and pleased to receive with me Mrs. Uh, the Professor Goski Alabi, President Lawe Open University from Ghana. Welcome. Thank you very much. So you were incredible with uh, this morning uh, for the first plenary. Uh, when we talk about Africa in the changing world, what competitive advantages should Africa build to be influential in a globalized world? So you were uh, really engaged uh, because this question is uh, one of the main scope, main uh, focus here in the Youth Africa Summit. What do you think about the situation in Africa, about the thematic? Well, thank you very much. I think that Africa is a great um, continent. Mm -hmm. It has very unique potentials and very unique problems. Now, we cannot solve the African problems with solutions that had been created by other people. Mm -hmm. And this is exactly what I believe we've been trying to do in the past. Africa needs to create its own solutions using the potentials that it has. And what are the potentials? Because I feel that Africa has lived with both its potential and its problems for a very long time. Mm -hmm. So it means that there is something that we may not be doing right. In fact, there is something that we are not doing right. And what is that thing? I feel that, first of all, it has to do with the African mindset. The mindset that solutions created by other continents are probably better than our own solutions. But we are aware that true development started in Africa. University education started in Africa, Morocco, Egypt leading the way. What happened? Why is it that this great achievement could not be drummed up, but others have got in the light? So it means that Africa has a lot of unique things which we can do. One of them is first to decolonize our mindset, to start having the confidence in ourselves to believe that we can do things and that we can do things our own way. Mm -hmm. But uh, Professor Goski Alabi, uh, we were talking about uh, decolonizing uh, the mindset uh, to think with African solution and to create a new, um, a new change, yeah. a new paradigms. But we have also the, uh, some, uh, some uh, paradigms that is the language because we have three languages in Africa. Language is English, French, Portuguese. Who was the, the, uh, uh, the colony before? Do you think that, uh, that uh, it's all about education? Or maybe can you change uh, uh, things with another way? It is not only about education, but it is also about our attitudes. We need to change things in a certain way. And in what ways can we change things? For example, if we can get up and say, we are in Africa, we have lived with malaria, for example, in West Africa, we've lived with malaria for a very long time. What can we do to stop malaria? And we actually commit our knowledge to it we can do it. And when we do this, I keep saying technology is a leveler. Before, there were certain things that were blogging us, but today, technology has changed a lot of things for us. What we say right now can be translated into French, into Arabic, into Portuguese, into Spanish in a very short time. Mm -hmm. We need not forget that 
language is a very powerful thing. I keep saying that colonization left for us a number of things. One is language. Different, 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 different languages. And that in itself is a constraint to our development. The second thing colonization left for us is slicing up Africa into tiny bits of economically unviable nations so that we are small in units so that we don't speak the same language and we are not able to build together because there is strength in unity and there is strength in numbers. Now compare this, the third thing I'll talk about is the colonization left for us a different form of governance system. It told us that our traditional governance system there is, cannot work for us. So we needed to take on another form of governance system. As to whether that kind of governance system that is being prescribed for Africa is working for Africa, or mm -hmm. Africa needs to develop its own governance system, it's a different thing altogether, which the African people need to recognize and come together and define one for themselves. But let me give you this example. Why is America so powerful? America is so powerful because it is one continent mm -hmm. which is seen as a country. They speak the same language. You don't need a visa or a no, passport no. to move from one state of America to the other. And when you move from one state to the other, you don't need to speak a different language. These are the things that had made America so powerful. America decided to define its own system of governance, a system of democracy quite different from what is practiced in Europe. Mm -hmm. And it's working for it. That's true. So why can't we also look at not only our education, but the language factor? And this is why when our forefathers were, or, or, or previous leaders, Nkrumah, Sukuturi, all those people you mentioned today, mm -hmm. when they were thinking about the unity of Africa, they thought about what should be the common language. Professor Goski Alabi, um, tell us more about Lawe Open University. I heard the concept is uh, original first, and you uh, is very really accessible. Yes, that is true. So, Lawa Open University College is the first accredited open university in Ghana, and it is the second in West Africa. Mm -hmm. But the way we do our things is quite different. So it is open, which means that anybody at all who is willing and capable of, of having university education can come. It is unique because it's very affordable. It is unique because you can work and school at the same time. It is unique because we don't say these people were left behind. Let us leave them there. We are saying you were left behind. It was a mistake, either from the system or from you. You have a second chance. Come back to school and better yourself because the country and the continent needs you. But what is unique about us, in addition to these things, is that most of the content that is being created using digital mediation is being done locally. So we have created a library of 30,000 e-books, which can be accessed from anywhere in the world. And this were done by young boys in the university nice. and girls. So, these are some of the things we teach through technology. Mm -hmm. You don't need to be physically present all the time. Mm -hmm. We teach also by videos, by games, by simulations. And we are able to take content from anywhere in the world and add to what we create ourselves. So that we opening up our students to the global environment. The philosophy is that they should be able to think global, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Think digital, but act locally to solve problems within our environment. So this is the uniqueness about our Open University. College. Professeur Goski Alabi, it was a big pleasure to receive you. Thank you very much. Donc, Professeur Goski Alabi, President of Laue Open University. I hope that you will enjoy your time during those three days at Africa Youth and Summit, um, Youth and Student Summit here in Morocco. This is not your first time. This is my first time. Your first time. And so let please me take the opportunity take the to time. thank you. You're welcome. It's been wonderful. Mm -hmm. You have a pleasant country and very pleasant people. Thank you Pleasure. very much. You are at home. Thank We you. are all Africans. Yes.